arrest.intenced to 60 years in federal child p.ornography case. Grand Rapids Larry Nasser, the former MSU and USA gymnastics doctor whose work took him to multiple Olympic Games, was sentenced Thursday to 60 years in federal prison on child pornography charges to which he's admitted. You have to wonder whether he felt he was omnipotent, whether he felt he was getting away with something so cleverly, said U.S. District Judge Janet Neff. He has demonstrated that he should never again have access to children. He was sentenced to 20 years on each of three counts, to be served consecutively. Neff also stated that his federal time would be served consecutive to his state sentences for sexual assault. He has pleaded guilty to 10 sexual assault charges and will be sentenced next month. In court filings last week, Nasser's attorneys had asked Neff to show leniency, saying the doctor had worked toward redemption by helping fellow inmates and taking Bible classes since his arrest nearly a year ago. From the archives, Nasser pleads guilty to federal child porn charges related, Fed say Nasser should get 60 years in child pornography charges more. Nasser pleads guilty to three more sexual assault charges more, Larry Nasser makes seven guilty pleas, victim calls him master manipulator federal prosecutors, however, had argued for the maximum 60 years, saying Nasser poses an immense risk to the community and quoting one victim who said the 54-year-old will not hesitate to re-offend if he's ever freed. Nasser pleaded guilty in July to three federal charges after investigators said he possessed at least 37,000 graphic videos and images of child pornography, including images of prepubescent children engaged in sex acts. He also pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice for trying to destroy the evidence. The U.S. Attorney's Office said Nasser paid to have his work laptop wiped clean and threw away hard drives containing the pornography. Investigators were only able to obtain those hard drives at Nasser's Holt property because the garbage truck happened to be running late that day, according to court records. Some of the videos appeared to show Nasser assaulting young girls in a pool, investigators said. As part of a deal with federal prosecutors to obtain his guilty plea, prosecutors agreed they would not charge him with alleged sexual exploitation of children in relation to four reported victims. Thursday sentencing ends one of three criminal cases against Nasser. He's also pleaded guilty to sexual assault charges in both Ingham and Eden counties and could be sentenced to up to life in prison in those cases when he's sentenced next month. In still pending lawsuits related to Nasser's admitted crimes, more than 140 women or girls have said Nasser assaulted them, often during medical appointments. Michigan State University USA Gymnastics and Twistars, a Demondale Gymnastics club where Nasser often worked, are named as defendants in the lawsuits. LSJ editorial board, Luana Simon must resign as Michigan State President related, viewpoint, MSU trustees disagree vehemently with LSJ editorial asking Simon to resign more, Denhunder, may this be the spark needed to protect young girls and women Nasser led in cuffs out of the courtroom at the Gerald R. Ford Federal Building in downtown Grand Rapids on Thursday, was for decades an esteemed sports medicine doctor. USA Gymnastics sent him to almost every Summer Olympic Games, from 1996 in Atlanta where he was photographed in the iconic image of an injured Kerry Strug being helped off a platform, to London in 2012. He started working at MSU, his alma mater, in 1997. His public downfall began in September 2016, when the Indianapolis Star named Nasser in a report on USA Gymnastics' lackluster response to allegations of assault. Later reports by the State Journal identified similar shortcomings at MSU. Between 1997 and 2015, at least seven women or girls say they raised concerns about Nasser's actions to coaches, trainers, police, or university officials. LSJ Investigation, Larry Nasser and a career filled with silenced voices The Indy Star Report, MSU doctor accused of abusing USA gymnasts related, AG Scoot wants to know what MSU officials knew about Nasser Michigan Attorney General Bill Scoot, who is prosecuting Nasser on the state charges in Ingham and Eaton counties, earlier this week asked MSU to release the findings of its internal investigation into the way university officials handled the allegations. 
Among those to publicly accuse Nasser of abuse are Olympic medalists Sally Reisman, Michaela Maroney, Gabby Douglas and Jamie Donser. Nasser left USA Gymnastics in 2015. MSU fired him in September 2016. He lost his medical license earlier this year. Contact reporter Beth LeBlanc at 517-377-1167 or LeBlanc at Gannon.com. Follow her on Twitter at LeBlanc. Contact Justin A. Hinkley at 517-377-1195 or Jinkley at LSGA.com. Follow him on Twitter at Justin Hinkley. Sign up for his email newsletter, Psalm Weekly, at on.lsga.com slash sum sign up.